Hey guys, welcome to Let's Code It. Today I'm going to show you a very good basic gaming engine where you can make different different type of 3D games and you can learn about virtual reality. Uh, this uh, platform is designed uh, for uh, making different different type of 3D games. You can see this is the platform. Uh, the name is HXR. Here you can make different different type of games. Okay, so without wasting the time, let's start. Okay, when I'm clicking on the start building, it will open your workspace area. You have to, if it is asking and under public project is on, you have to just click on the next. Okay, so this is your workspace. You can see, uh, you can see how many objects are present here. Three different different type of objects. These are default objects that is always coming in your screen. Uh, the first is sphere, the second one is cube, the third one is cylinder, and the fourth one is camera. So this thing, this gray color thing where the all the grids are, this is called ground, and this is called camera, and these are different different 3D objects here. You can see this is the layers in the scene section. All the objects that are present here, you can see here also. You can see box here, you can see sphere, you can see cylinder, you can see player. Player is your camera. This is your camera. You can see cursor. You can see lights also. Because of the lights, you can see uh, all the things. And this is your ground. Okay. Everything is having some properties also. So the box is having some properties. All the properties you can see here. In the properties, this is position, means you can change the position using here and you can change the position using the transfer also. For example, when I'm clicking on the box, you can see this is X arrow, this is Y arrow, this is Z arrow. That means if you want to change the position horizontally, you have to move like this. If you want to change the position forward backward, you have to do this. If you want to change the position vertically, you have to do this. Okay. Same time, you can see when I'm changing the position here, it will change the position of Y here also. If you change the position of X here, you can see it is changing the position of X here also. If you are changing the position of Z here, you can see it is changing the position of Z here. The second one is the for rotation. You can rotate like this. Okay, and you can see the rotation is also changing. The third one is for scale. For example, if I'm selecting this box and I want to change the size of this box, so you can see, you can do it like this. Apart from this, there are some more different different type of proper properties we will see one by one. Okay. So this is a uh, scene section. Now the second section is code. In the code section, you have to write the code here. We are using JS, JavaScript language, and uh, you have to write the code in the JavaScript language. You can see there are different different type of sections are available. Uh, under the global, you can see scenes and events, timer, utilities, maths, color, sound. Inside the scenes and events, you can see many many functions. When you are clicking on the scene, what should happen? When you are touching on the scene, what it will do? When you are clicking on the mouse, what it will do? There are different different color options. How can you get the random color? How can you do the changes? There are different types of sound options are also available. Every object that is present on the screen it is having different different type of functionality. Every object, like boxes, objects, you can see different different types of functions for box. There is a sphere object, you can see different different types of functions of the sphere. Cylinder is an object, you can see different different types of functions of cylinder. This is a run script section. Using this run script section, you can see how your code is working in this section. Okay. If you want to see the full play thing, you have to go here and you can see how it is looking. This time I just change the size of my sphere, so it is looking like this. And I can see this type of view. Okay, because my camera is placed here. Okay, so it is totally depend on your camera, how you are placing your camera. So you can see the thing. Okay, so you have to place your camera properly because everything is coming according to the 
view of the camera. Okay, so that's it. This is the introduction part. In the next video, we will uh, learn how to make a small uh, game in the H platform. Okay, so this time I'm ending. Thank you very much. Okay.